Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, campers of all ages, allow me to introduce to you the Cougar 29 RLI. This is one of Cougar's half ton models. So tell you a little bit about it. It is a rear living camper. I'll show you that when we go inside. You're coming in at 8,893 pounds. So really light as far as a fifth wheel is concerned, especially a Cougar. You're looking at 32 feet, nine inches. You're gonna sleep six people in this camper. A few things I wanna go over on the outside. You do have the laminated side walls with five-sided aluminum structure. You have tinted dual pane windows, one piece heated and enclosed underbelly. It is a 50 amp service, so it is wired for a second AC, and I'll show you where you can put that in on the inside. On the back, well wait, let me show you a few more things before we go to the back. You have a nice big pass-through storage up here with access to key TV, uh, so you can have a TV out here. You also have access to your in-command system right there. I'll talk a little bit more about in-command on the inside, but that's basically a fail-safe that if the monitor inside quit working and you were unable to connect to it via your phone, you've got manual switches there so you can run your slides in, your awnings, so on and so forth. Back here on the back, we do have a two inch hitch that's got a 300 pound storage capacity ladder. So you've got a fully walkable roof. Two awnings on this, powered awnings with LED lights. Since you have a campsite slide, uh, you get this awning here and then you have the additional awning right up there. Outside speaker fringe hinge door so basically that's not going to slam solid entry steps and then let's take a look on the inside so some of the things i want to cover uh more generalities about the camper you do have dimmer switches on the slides so you can actually dim those slide lights if you want it does feature the taller slides which is just going to make it feel more spacious and roomy in here you have roll down night shades throughout you have a 5500 BTU electric only fireplace. I rave about these in all of my videos. I've had them in most of my campers over the years. I absolutely love it because it's great for early season and late season camping. It definitely takes the chill out of the air and you're not using your propane, which is super nice. And I'm gonna hit more in the kitchen here in a minute, but some of the highlights that I wanna talk about is you do have residential shaker style hardwood cabinets and doors throughout soft clothes, hidden hinges, pressed countertops. So those are going to be seamless pressed countertops. You have a nice big undermounted stainless steel sink. It's like a 50-50 stainless steel sink. A 21-inch Furion stove, a 10.4 cubic inch fridge freezer that is 12 volts. So that will operate off of your battery. <coughs> Excuse me, I got choked. One of your ACs is right there, and we'll go ahead and jump up here real quick. I'm moving around a lot today, but that's okay. Second AC, if you chose to have one, could go right there. So if we come back out into the main living area, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I apologize. Uh, if we come back out to the main living area, I do want to talk. I mentioned that the refrigerator would run off of your battery. This is a Keystone product, so it does come with their Solar Flex. It's Solar Flex 200, so that's going to give you a solar panel on the top and a lot of the wiring and stuff already done. That'll keep things like your lights running, you can run your slides out, your refrigerator will stay on. And what's really cool with that Solar Flex is you can expand that package. I forget how high it goes, but basically it's like full on boondocking if you want. And it's really nice because it's more affordable because a lot of the work is already done as far as the wiring. You just need to add extra inverters, add extra solar panels, and you can do that at any time. You can do it before you pick up your RV, anytime after. All right, so on to the tour. This is a rear living model, so we're facing the back of the camper. And we have, I still call it a freestanding dinette. It is wall mount, the table is wall mounted, but you have freestanding chairs. Carpetless slide, this is like that indoor outdoor carpet. I've had it in a couple of my units. It's super easy to clean up. It's pet friendly, it's fantastic. You have your theater seats here, those will recline. You've got cup holders, you've got a place to hide your remote. 
We talk about sleeping. You can sleep a couple of additional people right over there on your jackknife sofa that will turn into a bed. You've got end tables on both sides that turn into night tables at night, which is pretty cool. Uh, USB and regular charging on both sides, as well as some additional cabinets up above. I already hit on the fireplace. You have your Bluetooth CD DVD player right there that will control those inside or those outside speakers I showed you, as well as your inside speakers. Nice large flat panel TV, and again more storage up above as well as next to the uh, stereo for your DVDs, video game systems, whatever you want. Kitchen, I already hit on a lot of the stuff in the kitchen, but I do want to show you that you have a massive pantry that you could use for dry storage or you can keep extra pillow blankets games all that good stuff in there large kitchen island we talked about the sink but you've got a large island for prep and serving space you've got drawers and cabinets down below drawers and cabinets next to your microwave and then your little nook area over here where you have more drawers and cabinets so we were talking about the in command system if I can get this on, the default password is always zeros. So this is kind of the heart and soul of everything. You control your interior lights. You can run your slides in and out. You can run your awning in and out. You can check your fresh, your black, your gray, so on and so forth. Uh, turn your water pump on. You name it. You can do everything from here. You can also connect it to your phone and, con and control it from your phone. And I'm not going to lie. There's been times where I've been sitting like in my camper over there. And I've changed the temperature without getting up because it's all about relaxing when you're camping. Why not do that? It's also great because if you are by yourself, you can run your slides out via your phone. So you can be out there looking. You can run your awning out, so on and so forth. And like I mentioned, you have that fail safe. So if something were to happen to your screen, you've got your phone. And a fallback to that is you have those manual switches uh, in the pass-through storage up at the front. If you have questions about the in command, I will link to a full walkthrough video that our service director did on this system down in the description of this video. Bathroom. You have a porcelain toilet. Why is that important? Because you can use any of your household chemicals on that. You don't have to worry about getting anything special. You have linen closet there. A nice big sit down shower. And again, the name of the game is relaxation. Why not be able to sit while you're taking a shower? It's also great for the ladies if you need to sit down and shave your legs or whatnot. You've got your sink with storage below. You've got cabinet and drawers and a nice big medicine cabinet with storage. And then last but certainly not least, we come back to our bedroom. We've got a queen size bed that does have storage underneath it. We've got, excuse me, nightstands on both sides of the bed. You even have cabinets on both sides so you can hide your snacks and stuff. USB and regular charging ports on both sides. So that is fantastic if you need a CPAP machine, but it's also great for charging your phones, your portable devices, whatever you have. And you even have puck lights under there so you can see what you're doing. In addition, you've got the his and hers closet on both sides as well as some storage there. And then we've got our hanging storage there as well as more drawers. You also have the ability, you have a backer in the wall right there so you can mount a TV back here in the bedroom. You want some peace and quiet, you close the bedroom door, you can lay back here and relax and watch TV. So there you have it. Oh, you know what, I didn't share price with you. Let's do, let's do price. Price, you're looking at, this is a 2024, 29 RLI. You're looking at a sale price of $55,985, retail of $71,500. So you're looking at a $15,515 savings. That was a mouthful. As always, if I missed something, if I said something completely wrong, which there's a strong possibility, or if there's another unit you would like to see that's on our website, please drop a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer the question, admit to my ignorance, or go shoot a video of that unit for you. Have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching.